Hey, what's up everyone? Matt here, hope you're doing well. Welcome, this is my first live YouTube. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, I haven't had a video out, sorry, three reasons. One, I haven't had a video out in over a week. And number two, I want to do Amy Schmidt Hours uh, Savvy Sex, <laughs> Savvy Sexual, <laughs> Savvy Sexy Social Everyday Vlogging Challenge. I, I'll put the hashtag in, and I'm terrible at remembering hashtags that just have consonants. But I wanna do that, I wanna get back to doing something every day and shipping and doing it live. And so that's number three, is that I want to get really good at doing YouTube Live. I've done some Facebook Live, I've done Periscope, but I'm much more invested in the YouTube platform and want to make that a real you know, part of my arsenal. The main thing that I want to talk with you about today is why you should be vlogging. All right, so it's, I feel like it's kind of blowing up right now. It's something that I've really gotten into, and to me there are there are at least two reasons, I may come up with a bonus reason, which would be totally off the top of my head, but two reasons that you should consider vlogging at the very least every single week, even if you don't have a channel topic, even if you don't have a specific niche idea, even if you don't have like a lot of great gear, anything like that. Right now I'm doing this on my iPhone, I've got my AirPods in, um, you know, and I've got like, a, I've got a tripod here. It's not it's not super well done right now. But here are the reasons that you should consider doing a vlog. I think you should do a vlog um, at the very least weekly. Number one, the main reason that I started doing this is that I just communicate better on camera than I do on the written word. And I didn't know this about myself until I started doing it consistently, all right? And because it's really easy for me to rip through an idea on video. Now this might not work for everyone, <laughs> but for me, like you give me a topic, you give me something to start with, even if it's something that I'm coming with on my own mind, then I'm gonna start ripping through that and I can give you some opinions on it and I'll give you a couple of takeaways and I can do that a lot faster than I can you know, just typing it out. Maybe it's just me, but I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't given it a shot. And plus the ability you know, with the proliferation of smartphones and video, we need to get more and more comfortable with video and how we look on it, how we sound on it, how we communicate on it, communi communicating clearly, you know, like I'm doing right now, communicating clearly with how we want to get our ideas across, okay? The second reason to do that, and this is also kind of a selfish thing for me, but I have a son now, so I have a, t well, not like super recently, but I have a two-year-old. Okay. I have a two-year-old boy and every time I do a vlog now, I think he's going to be able to see this one day. We're, hopefully we watch these together, you know, maybe it'll be like that, you know, this is, why isn't this holographic 3D? I don't know. I don't know, son. This is like the cassette tapes of 2000, whatever year it is, 2017. But we're going to be able to watch these together and he's going to be like, dad, what were, because I think about this a lot, like with my dad. Um, if if I would have known, like, what did he really look like, sound like, what were the things that he was working on, what were the problems that he was facing, because when he was my, when my dad was my age, he had three kids, <laughs> and for him to, like, sit down, I would have loved, loved for him to have sat down, for my dad to have sat down and be like, oh, if my dad had vlogged 27 years ago now, and kind of talked about all of this, oh, I just, you yeah, know, that would be fantastic, I'd love to watch those. And so you think about making this, making your vlog a 20, you know, I don't know if I would have cared about watching my dad's vlog when I was 20, but think about this as a 30 year investment and the stories you're gonna tell and the arc and the, the scope of it all, it's gonna be fantastic. And so that is the second reason. The first is to communicate clearly on video. The second is telling a big picture story of your life and how your kids, your loved ones, yeah, people are gonna be able to watch that and see, and you're gonna be able to look back too and see these are the things that I was dealing with at 33. That's how old I am right now. Maybe these are the things I was dealing with at 43. The third reason that I believe you should vlog at least every week is that it's been one of the best things for like my career and one of the ways that I communicate ideas and we we share things at ConvertKit and I talk about these are the things that we're working on and these are the things that we're struggling with and I've gotten some really good feedback from people that 
I admire on like how to maybe do different things with with the business different things like just with my particular work and role so being able to like and they saw that because I put it out on video because I'm sharing because I'm working in public and because we're telling that bigger story we have that arc we have that scope so again those are three reasons that I believe you should be vlogging every single week it's a consistency thing it like it's like the show we've got the Matt show <laughs> going on right now but being able to communicate clearly on video, not be worried about that. Number two, um, just from a personal family side, like the ability to see how this is going for myself over time, how my son can see it, um, other kids, you know, perhaps down the road, they're gonna be able to see like, this is what dad was doing when he was 33. And then number three, uh, I do believe that whatever your work you're doing, having a vlog, having a way that you're communicating these ideas in a big way and talking about your work, talking about your process, like Gary Vee says, document, don't create. Uh, this is what this is. What this is. So thanks so much for watching this. Hit subscribe in the bottom. Gonna be going, gonna be going live and trying to get a video out every single day for for Amy's challenge. Savvy, sexy. I don't know why I can't say this. Savvy, sexy, social, everyday video challenge. Hey, so anyway, I'm gonna put it in the comments. All right, thanks everyone. Subscribe. Keep watching. Really appreciate all of you. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.